Hello and welcome back to the last part of the Intro to Biopsych webinar series. I'm Alexander Shearer speaking for SRI's Bioinformatics Research Group. When we started out, we took a very high level view of metabolism, checking the whole organism's metabolism out using the cellular overview. Then we went down to pathways, then enzymes, then reactions, and now we're going to look at the last thing that we need to look at in this introduction, which is how compounds are represented within a biopsych database. So with that in mind, let's look at this reaction we were looking at last time and pick one of the compounds to click through on. There we go, we're on a compound page. So from the top, what do we have? Again, we have our organism, we have the name of the compound, and we have synonyms. Compounds are especially rife with synonyms, formal names, informal names, etc and we include as many as we can so that you can find the compound you're looking for regardless of what name you learned it under. Below that we have classification, then we have the empirical formula for the compound which is actually calculated from the structure and the molecular weight which is also calculated from the structure. Then whenever possible we have that structure and below that we have text-based representations including smiles and inchi and some unification links and then a listing of reactions in which the compound is a reactant and reactions in which the compound is a product. And basically that's it for compounds. The structure is the core of the point of a compound page most of the time. It's what the other information is derived from. It lets you understand what's going on with the compound. And from there you're good to go as far as compounds are concerned. And with that, let's return to the Biopsych homepage. In this series we showed you the search tools available on every single Biopsych page, the extent of the Biopsych database collection with two tier 1, 20 tier 2, and about 350 tier 3 databases. We showed you how the Biopsych databases include high-level viewing tools like the Cellular Viewer, the Genome Browser, and the Genome Overview, and we showed you what different objects and data types are contained within the databases, including pathways, genes, transcription units, proteins, reactions, and compounds. And that's the basics that you need to know to get going with BioPsych and the BioPsych database collection. I encourage you to click around, take a look, pull up the organism you care about, see what it looks like, and send us feedback. And that's where we're going to end today with a comment about feedback. Whenever you want, from any page in the Biosite collection, you can go to Help, click on Contact Us, and you'll be taken to our user support page, which gives you an email address for contact with support for the database, an email address for contact for support with the software if you get around to downloading it, and a place you can click through to license the software. Always feel free to email us whenever you have an issue, a suggestion, we like suggestions, or any other concern or recommendation or nice comment about the Biopsych database collection. And with that, I encourage you to fire up the database, go start running some searches, use the quick search, use the intermediate search, learn to use the advanced search, uh, go wild and enjoy the Biopsych database collection.